mon premier onyaki, et c'est un akiri. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, of course you just heard me speak one of three languages that I speak so well, French. And I'm always looking for a reason to speak French, but I never really have, especially online on my socials, because mainly the world is largely English. However, the knife smith that sent me my first honyaki, which is a nakiri, as you saw in the subtitles if you didn't understand it in French, is a French knife maker, Sylvain M from France, also known as Sylvain Coutelier Forgeron on Instagram, so please check him out. So this is my first honyaki with a mono steel, so I'm going to let Sylvain introduce himself in the next 90 seconds tell you what he sent me, and yes, you might see me at some point, I get a little bit excited, I speak French, but there will always be subtitles below. Then we'll come back, we'll do the unboxing, and we'll head straight into the first impressions and the knife demo. Let me know guys what you think, I've been trying something a little bit new, I essentially do voiceover over my first impressions or over the unboxing in real time. So as I unbox, if I say wow, or if I'm like ugh, I've never said that before, but if I did, it would be captured. Um, so let me know if you kind of like this, where now the unboxings are a little bit longer than 90 seconds, they're still asmr -y, but if I have something to say, I say it in the moment. Let me know if you like that, otherwise, let's go learn about Sylvain M, and then we'll come right back and we'll hop into the unboxing First impressions, I believe I have been given impressions two days later, so they're like first impressions two days post. The initial impressions, which is important, because initially when we unbox something, we kind of get carried away with our emotions. Oh, how does this make me feel? How does it look? Oh, that trait on the knife is so cool. And then two days later, things are a little bit calmer and we see things differently. So without further ado, Sylvain, please introduce yourself. Otherwise, enjoy the unboxing. First impressions knife demo. Guys, if you like the content I put together, please, it would mean a lot to like and specifically subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button so you know when the content is going up. It's coming up a little less regularly, so hitting the bell just means you never miss a piece of content I put together for you. Otherwise, thank you so much, Sylvain. Thank you for my first honyaki. It won't be my last and actually, maybe a little bit of a tease as I always do, but I did get someone in the community who's going to help me better understand honyaki polish and how to maybe end up with a higher contrast hamon. Without further ado, take it away, Sylvain. Hi everybody, um, I'm Sylvain M. I'm a French uh, knife maker and blacksmith uh, based uh, in France, just a few meters outside of Paris. Specialized in kitchen knives, um, mainly working on custom orders, which is uh, really what I prefer. Like, uh, I really uh, take my pleasure in, in uh, discussing with the, the customer, uh, the future owner of the knife, and best understand his needs or her needs, um, and then talk about materials uh, and design a knife that um, he or she will really like uh, and, and eventually become a, their go to knife. I've been uh, doing this job for about six to seven years now, uh, previously working in the IT business, uh, so very different life. Um, I've been uh, doing for Frankie, uh, uh, I've been making a Nakiri, uh, 210 millimeters uh, out of uh, 125 uh, SC steel, uh, uh, and uh, with a Honyaki finish and a Bogok handle, um, which is really a, a knife that um, is quite uh, in line with my uh, general line, and, and Honyaki is something that I really focus on uh, at the moment, uh, and that was luckily something Frankie was willing to test, so everybody was happy. Uh, you can find my work on uh, Instagram, uh, sylvain.m.coutelier, or on my website, s-y-l-v-a-i-n-m.fr. Uh, um, any question, any ID, any project, just uh, pop me a message. It doesn't cost anything, and I'm always happy to, to chat with new customers. Thanks. I love me a good old tuba knife. Ooh. Classy. S for Sylvain, ladies and gentlemen. Aha. Finally get to use... The Higo. But first, on Instagram, sylvain.m.coutelier. Oh, nice handle. I can smell the wood like it was just sculpted days ago. 
smells very rough i'm going to imagine not stabilized in this type of climate i may have to humidify it and seal it but that's not a big deal very cool hybrid shape half octagonal half oval beautiful little indent here on the bolster i bet you that's going to make it super cozy to pinch grip and love the fluted butt very nice choice of wood all right let's see what he sent us nice detail Honyaki, baby. My first Honyaki. Beautiful. Super thin behind the edge. I like this little dot right there. Beautiful size for a Nakiri. I like the length of the neck. This finger choil right here seems like it's going to be really cozy. Let's test that out. Yeah, that's nice. Nice spine thickness, aka from thin to thin. Nice generous belly height as well. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to moisturize this bad boy. But super nice build. Loving the length. I think it's probably feels close to 200 millimeter blade length we'll confirm later well done Sylvain. well done from france to edmonton let's go baby so as you can see here i've already moisturized the handle and i think it looks quite a bit nicer it's just it's more vibrant and i'm going to seal this next with true oil beautiful handle to start with but just a little bit too raw especially for climate like Edmonton where the dryness might lead to it cracking absolutely love the shape of the handle that kind of hybrid approach especially with the top being octagonal bottom being more oval and round beautiful fluted butt nice length really nice balance point balance point could have maybe been just a touch further back towards the handle I do love the look of the length of the neck, but based on that balance point, I would have maybe brought the neck in just a little bit more. That's kind of my two cents. Nice, simple Honyaki polish. I spoke to Sylvain about this and I like that. He admits and says that he makes his Honyaki more from a performance standpoint, as opposed to being a, uh, a visual piece, as in he's going to prioritize the knife performing really well and of having the benefits of honyaki treatment over just spending dozens of hours on the polish alone. So of course the polish is very subtle. Got a nice fingerprint right here. But what I really like too are just these two dots. Nice clean maker's mark. Love this little divot in the handle. Super, super comfortable. And one of the things I love the most is I'm not typically an Akiri guy, but I think I'm really going to appreciate this one mainly for its length. I never understood why Nikiris were typically found in 165 millimeters. I find that to be too short, even for something as simple as an onion. Here, I believe we're probably closer to 200 millimeters. So this is a fantastic length. It's very, very light blade, um, very thin spine all the way through, essentially no tapering or minimal tapering. This thing is a laser, it's going to slay, it's going to be a beast, and that extra length is going to come in real handy. A few moments later. So I've had this knife for a few days now, and I gotta say, really, really impressed with the build so far. And even though it's from a French maker, si vous m'entendez parler français, you don't have to worry. If I do speak French, I'll just subtitle it. If I say things and I pretend to be like, oh, this knife is amazing, sacrément saint cyboire de saint Josephine, uh, don't believe me. Like, those are French swear words. I'm just trying to be funny. I'm not actually describing the knife. Now, the handle I did think was beautiful immediately. It did arrive here very dry. There wasn't any handle protection in the packaging, but I know that Sylvain did moisturize it. This is just one of the realities sometimes when you send the knife somewhere else where it's a little bit drier than where it originally came from. So I did give it two coats of mineral oil and beeswax and then put true oil on it for 24 hours. Gave it a little sand down with some quadruple zero steel wool and it's fantastic. In terms of the knife itself, I like that it's a low contrast honyaki. It's really going to force me to also learn how to 
take pictures of honyaki knives a little bit better. In terms of the balance point, that's the only piece I'm a little bit worried because the finger troll is great. Really nicely polished spine, super well polished troll as well. And it is comfortable, but the balance point is a bit forward because this knife is so light. If the knife was thicker and more blade heavy, I think it might help it. But because the knife is so light, I feel like it should have been balanced right over the choil, whereas now it's kind of balanced almost a finger and a half past the finger choil. So we'll see how that affects performance. Something that could easily have been done to fix it is just kind of push the tang into the handle a bit. I don't know if he used epoxy to affix the handle or if it's something I can adjust if ever I decide that I think it needs to be rebalanced, but just an observation. What do you say we get cutting? I'm using this neck kitty. This is going to be a test of thinness. Super, super nice thin slices. Of course, that first cut led to it wedging and cracking. That's also a nice test of geometry. Let's try again. At the end of the day, it's a super dense carrot, but let's try again. Super thin blade, but definitely having some wedging. Super sharp. Nice polished edge. Let's tackle the larger stack. This is a Nikiri's job. Let's test the tip. Very nice, thin, sharp tip. I love that. Even on the thicker slices. Well done. Good old potato with the neck kitty. Really enjoying so far the super sharp, usable tip. It is coming out of the box, super sharp, very nice polished edge. Nice belly height, proves to be useful there. Now those struggled just a little bit when it came to the russet potatoes with kind of just that dicing motion right at the end. I did notice in re-watching the video, something that maybe I'd like a little bit more, just kind of right off the bat is if we take a look at that belly profile, it's not perfectly flat for a nakiri. Personally, I think it might be more useful being perfectly flat because that's kind of the point of making sure there's no accordion cuts. So it does have a little bit of belly, which means it has some rockability that being said, I think it might benefit from being a bit flatter. Now just for fun, let's try it on the sweet potato since it's so thin and see if it struggles. If it does, I'll probably pull back. But let's just see if we can cut this. Easy. Easy. Now my cut wasn't straight, but that was easy to go through. Using just a tip. These are going to be some big sweet potato fries. Okay, I'd say easy enough. Let's get another slice out of this. Put it this way, I would not be afraid to use this on a sweet potato. Some knives um, I feel get wedged and a little bit of torsion might put them at risk of chippability. Here this 
is feeling like a really nice resilient edge and honestly it's going through a sweet potato fairly easily. Now I'm not really cutting it into anything that makes sense, I'm just testing the edge. Fist over, very nice, very nice. All things considered, for a sweet potato, it's easy. That tip though, I'm a big fan. It's one of my favorite features, I think, of the knife. Just that really nice length, 195 millimeter cutting edge, and just how easily you can draw back and slice. Yeah, he's got really good tip geometry on this neck, Giddy. Look at that. Super impressed with the tip geometry. Well done, Suzanne. Felicitations, chef. Beautiful. For fun, as usual, even though I didn't start with this for the first cut, let's do a bit of a bite edge test on this cherry tomato. Barely holding the knife. Mm. Beauty. Great bite as well. That makes me think that maybe the knife wasn't sharpened, say, above 3K to have this much bite. Mm. Yeah, the draw slice is freaking awesome with the snack kitty. I'd say I'd rather pull with the snack kitty than I like to push, and typically I'm a push kind of guy. Could be the way the edge has been finished and refined. Sometimes with sharpening technique, depending on if someone puts more pressure on the push or the pull, you end up with kind of your new established edge heat in a way, either more one way or the other way. Here I'm just finding it easier to pull. Maybe it's related to that, maybe not, but uh, just an observation. I'd say so far performance on this knife is really, really good. It's very sharp out of the box. It has nice bite edge on something like a cherry tomato. It's very thin, so it was fairly easy to go through a very thick and dense sweet potato. Russet potato was easy as well. With the carrot, as was somewhat expected, it did go through it fairly easily, but there was some wedging that typically just has to do with the blade geometry itself. Otherwise, I was able to create some very paper thin slices out of that black carrot. And the only other thing I'd say is in terms of flat edge, I think the edge on the Nekiri could be flatter. Uh, there's quite a few gaps. If you're taking a look at the light test, what's coming through on my side of the board compared to what you can see on your side, Small change, but it being an equity, I really think that that could be a beneficial change to just have a flatter edge profile. Then you can start to see it curve upwards.
Mm. Mm. Man, this is a curious one to use. I still think one of the areas I'd like to see improve is the blade is so light and the weight of the blade is ever so slightly forward and it's uncomfortable because the blade is light and so really forward facing weight doesn't really amount to more pressure through food because the weight is so light. At the same time, At the same time, the neck of the Nikiri is just a little bit too long, which is what's really responsible for driving that weight forward. So I think not only should the balance point be really much more over the finger choil, but I think a blade this light absolutely needs to have a handle that's a little bit thicker. It feels awkward in hand. Cutting performance is absolutely phenomenal. It goes through just about anything. I've tested it very, very easily. Um, beautiful patina, low contrast, honyaki, that part doesn't bother me at all, but it does feel ever so slightly awkward to hold. I think a larger ferrule or bolster is necessary, as well as kind of just pushing that neck back into the handle a little bit. And that's really my biggest comment, so if you think about it from the standpoint of what would Sylvain really need to improve, his forging, his heat treat, the performance, the outer box edge, everything is great. I really just think it needs a bit of a bulkier handle and to have a balance point that's right over that finger choil, which he's beautifully contoured and polished so that it's comfortable to hold. But then you have this tiny little handle that kind of just pokes into your hand and doesn't make it super comfortable. See, as I use it, I keep looking at my hand because it, it actually hurts a little bit or the top of the ferrule kind of just pinches into my hand because of these sharp little edges and because it's so narrow, that pinch point is emphasized. Amazing. Damn, that was a lot of fun. Let's go, Sylvain. Honnêtement, Sylvain, cette lame is spectacular. Guys, I've honestly never had as much fun cutting with a Nikiri. I've always said I'm not even a Nikiri guy. I like this blade so much more than even Becca's Denka. I think it is an insane performer. It's a laser of a Nikiri. Honestly, favorite Nikiri that I own. I think it's a great length. It's a great height. If I have to make any constructive feedback on the build, the fact that it is a low contrast Hamon doesn't bother me at all. Why? Because Sylvain also sells it that way. I do think I'm gonna have fun, polish it, try to go for something that's a little bit more contrasty etch it. I got my buddy uh, Steve Joyce at Rock Chop Knife who's going to be giving me some pointers. So that should be fun. Love the patina on it. Great steel type. Only changes I might make is I wish the blade had a slightly flatter profile. I do love the tip geometry. It's been extremely useful for draw cutting. In terms of balance point, as I said early on in my testing, I do wish that the balance point was directly above the finger choil because the finger choil is very comfortable. Speaking of comfort, the handle, of course, was very raw to begin with, so I did give it two coats of mineral oil in beeswax and then put one coat of true oil, so it's now great. I think sealing it that way is probably going to benefit Sylvain, no matter where he sends the knife. Here in Edmonton, dry climate just means that a knife handle that is untreated is not going to do particularly well. Um, otherwise, in terms of comfort, again, love the handle itself. It's beautiful and fluted, but in terms of the bolster, it is a little bit too narrow. So either I would suggest that he makes a slightly beefier handle, but it's not so much the size of the handle 
that is restrictive. It's the bolster in itself where you have these two pinch points that are so close together that when you go and pinch grip over the finger toil, there's just this pressure point in the inner palm of my hand that makes it not too comfortable to hold over extended periods of time. So again, in short, amazing. Best knee cure you have ever used. This is a laser of a knife. Great performance, slightly flatter belly, balance point over the finger choil, either bringing the neck of the blade a little bit more into the handle or having a slightly heavier handle that would then push the balance point further back. And more importantly, I think what needs to be addressed is either the curvature of the bolster here, but as is these two points here are a little bit too sharp. And in terms of comfort, that's really the biggest struggle. The flatter profile, that's more of a preference, but I would say balance point and the bolster would be my two biggest critiques. Otherwise, Sylvain, un gros merci, honnêtement. Um, comme tu as bien compris en anglais, c'est mon nakiri préféré. Et j'en ai essayé une coupe et j'ai toujours dit je n'aime pas les nakiri, mais le tien, j'adore. Donc, merci encore. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.